the M1 Grand. This one happens to have been restocked by CMP. Has a beautiful new stock on there. Load it by locking back the charging handle like so. You have an eight round, 30 odd six end block clip that goes in like this. And then it kind of rests on that last, or well, that first round. Slam it home and away you go. beautiful ping. U.S. Springfield Armory model 1903 Mark 1. Beautiful, beautiful historic rifle here. Again, from the CMP. This one's a little different. They do have stripper clips for these, but 30-06, five round internal box mag, so you can load them one at a time, or use a stripper clip, which I don't currently have. But loads five rounds, has an on off on the side here. So you can actually go and just do single round shots or you can load and bring rounds up from the internal mag. Very cool rifle here. Very, very fast to shoot. Beautiful rifle. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So a while back, I did an unboxing video of this M1 Garand right here. Picked this up from the CMP, the Civilian Marksmanship Program. Then we did another video on a road trip down to Alabama. Picked up that 1903 Springfield as well. Awesome program, and a lot of you mentioned in the video that I done this, how does a CMP work? How does a Civilian Marksmanship Program work? And that is something I wanna answer for you today. So let's go ahead, head on over to the website, and I'll walk you through everything. So first, a disclaimer for YouTube. YouTube, if you're watching this, we are not selling anything. I am following all community guidelines, and we're just going to walk these fine folks through this website, talk a little bit about this program. First thing you gotta do, go to this website right here. All right, this is their main website. It is an organization, and in fact, I'm gonna go down to the About Me section real quick, or About section. What is the Civilian Marksmanship program with a CMP. It's a national organization dedicated to training and educating U.S. citizens in responsible uses of firearms and air guns through gun safety training, marksmanship training, and competitions. So CMP is very much about safety, training, helping youth kind of get into the shooting sports. That being said, go to this tab right here on the page. Go down to right here. So scroll down here, you can see what they've had in the past. A lot of this stuff is not available, so don't bother here. I wish <laughs> I was looking for them. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And right here is where you wanna go. Read more. And here is this page right here that has everything you need to know about the M1 Grand as well as how they grade their rifles. So a CMP Grand grading criteria. This is very important because whether you go to the store or if you're online browsing, you can kind of tell you have rack grade or fair, you have field grade, fair to good, you have service grade, good to very good. This is the one I picked up. And as you can tell here, this is why I did get a new stock from the CMP. And keep going down, CMP special, correct grade, collector's grade. A lot of these are sold out, heads up. Uh, there's a lot that go to auction as well. Rack grade, field grade. So actually this part, this part right here is very important. You'll see item numbers, descriptions, a little bit more detailed, as well as this whole column right here, which is very important to pay attention to as you scroll through here. Notice this right here, and this right here, and then you have some nice options as well. A lot of these, of course, have been years <laughs> sold out, but they do get new ones in constantly. So here's some other ones here that came in more recently, and a bunch of other things that are sold out. So it's good to kind of check this sheet here, and you're going to need this information when you go, all right, to check a little bit more details on here. So let's talk about the forms, which is the hardest part of actually doing anything with the CMP, but I'll walk you through and it's not too bad. 
So to find the proper forms that you need to fill out, whether you're going to the actual store in person at one of the retail shops or you're going through the website, you will need to fill out these forms. Stay on this page right here, scroll down about maybe like a quarter of the way down to this right here, click on it. And now scroll down just a little bit and you'll see order forms right here. Also, if you're interested, these are the payment methods. It's pretty, pretty nice options and good variety there. No issues there. So fillable or printable, honestly, just go to fillable at this point and you're going to open up a form that you can fill out. So there is going to be a handful of pages on here. I believe there are six pages in the current draft in 2021. So Basically, you have this universal order form right here for identification purposes. Fill this all out, all right, to the best of your ability. If you have any questions at all, you can reach out to these guys. They have a phone number, they have email, as well as if you want to leave a comment down below, I'll try to help you out as best I can. And you also have the kind of an agreement, acknowledgement, sign right here, that's page one. And they have it labeled 1A. Go down here, you'll see that there is a universal order form. Fill this out. Make sure this all looks good. US citizen, run through all this, proper background checks, all that good stuff. All right, so you fill all that out. And now scroll down a little farther. So you have 2A, so now you're down here. This one you can fill out however, if you're going to the actual retail store, save save this is blank because you never know what is there what kind of goodies you might find but this is where you have that item number and then what exactly you're looking to get here scroll down here this is really cool it's i mean this is great for them to do that and then also this as well they do have some good prices on that so that's really good you can also do a donation this we plug in your payment information if you're ordering through this form through the mail and that that's right you have to send this through the mail a little bit more old school kind of in a packet so that was 3a this sheet right here um, at this point you're going to want to probably uh, print this out this whole thing because you're going to want to go through so let's talk about this here this is kind of a checklist of items you need to pull together make copies of send with your packet all in a nice organized setup so what you do proof of U.S. citizenship and age. All right, so paragraph one on the ordering instructions page. So the order instructions page is right here. So you'll see the instructions page lists off different methods. So let's talk about the first one. So proof of U.S. citizenship and age. So go down here. Now you can provide birth certificate, passport, all this stuff. Okay, so typical. And then you're good with that one. You can check it off. Now, proof of current membership in a CMP affiliated organization. This is the big one, paragraph two. Scroll down here. You'll see membership in a CMP affiliated organization. This one's gonna cost a little bit of money. The easiest one is actually, you can go and click on one of these websites here and go right to the clubs tab. The easiest one is like the M1 Grand Association. I think it's like, it's pretty cheap, it's like 25 bucks or something uh, to become a member, and once you're in, you're good to go. So that checks off that number two right there. Number three, proof of participation in a marksmanship or other firearm-related activity. Paragraph three, so go down to three here. You must provide proof of participation in a marksmanship activity. So whether you belong to a range that's great. If not, there's a bunch of things. And for, for example, I used this one right here. Super easy. Um, if you do have like an FFL or something, that's great. If you've attended Hunter Safety Course that included a live fire training, again, club membership. But if you have one of these, which a lot of states issue, um, then you can just use that. No big deal. And again, just a copy of that. Print it out attach it. All right, so your state and locality requirements laws. All right, so this one right here, farm owners or dedication card, rifle shipped to a state licensed dealer. So for the most part, most states will let you just ship this particular order to your door. 
which is nice. But if you have any particular laws, which you can look in the eligibility requirements right here. So just read through that page, then they'll let you know if you need to ship it to a certain place, licensed dealer, whatever it is. All right, next right here, completed, signed, and included page 1A, we talked about that. Page 2A, we talked about that. Page 3A, we talked about that. So if you're ordering with this packet, fill it out. Okay, now there is one thing to note. 2A is you need to be notarized. All right, so first time you do this, you need to notarize it. All right, so 2A is up here, which is right here and Notary Public, you can see the spot right in there. So you can take it to your local bank, credit union, one of those options is great. Uh, sometimes it costs a little bit of money, sometimes it's free, depending on where you go. But 2A, notarize the first time around. Page 3A, order form, fill it out if you're ready to order, fill out the payment. After you completed all the order forms, you submit your payment, all of the necessary enclosures, which is all of this stuff up here that we talked about. So make sure you have everything double and triple check that because it will delay everything and or cancel everything if you're missing something. So just go through this check sheet like we talked about, submit the proper paperwork and you'll be golden. All right, and then once you're done, send it a nice envelope to right here. All right, and then you're good to Go. Now they do allow repeat customers. Now if you scroll down to page six, section six right here for repeat customers. Repeat orders are allowed um, up to three years after you file your initial paperwork with your notarization. So if nothing has changed on those forms, like a name or an address, you can reuse your initial paperwork over the course of three years to order more items from the CMP. Now, if anything changes, you will need to go back and resubmit all the paperwork again with the current changes. So just note that. But overall, repeat orders are very easy to do. Now, I will say if there is a limit now for what, how many items you can order at a time per order or per, per year, that limit changes all the time. Um, I think as they run out of items or stock becomes limited with everything else going on in the world, then they're going to be limiting more and more of how much you can order and at certain times, um, just like anything else with everything being out of stock. So just note that, but repeat orders overall are fairly straightforward and easy once you get your initial paperwork done. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions at all, as always, hit them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. And of course, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that thumbs up, it really helps me out. Head on over to Instagram, follow us there, like us on Facebook for all the latest and greatest deal on the internet. And I'll see you guys in the next review.